6.1, the basics of geometry. This is the first video in my geometry section to the ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSE. As of all the other videos, there's a button here on YouTube to take you back to the index for geometry, and in that uh, index, there'll be a button taking you back to the index of indexes. And down here, I'm going to be slightly different here because these there's a lot of topics to cover here. Um, although you should be familiar with all of them from your GCSE maths, this is not anything new for further maths. Um, so these will be used within the further maths topics that will be new. I'm going to put some links down here to videos that I've done on these topics so that you can refresh whichever ones you feel you need to. Um, a, few t a few tips for this. Um, the formulas you're given, it says recall and use formulas for these. Um, so you're not given these formulas. So, but these ones you are. You are given the formula for a cone and a sphere. Um, all these cube, cuboid prisms are very standard, but the pyramids one um, is very much like the cone formula where you have a third of the area of the base times the height. So a third times the area of the base times the height. Now you can see that in the cone formula because on a cone the area of the base is a circle pi r squared and that also gives you the area of the circle formula. So this cone formula is fairly, fairly helpful, it gives you a couple, of, a couple of hints for the other formulas. Um, you're given the half a b sine c formula for the area of a triangle where you have a triangle, the sort of standard non-right angle triangle where you have um, the corners marked in a, b, c and then the opposite sides are little a, little b, little c, so that's the sides. So the angle uh, C, if you have the sides either side of it, so this formula works when you have the two sides either side of the angle, you can work out the area of the triangle by doing uh, that formula half of A times B times the sine of C. Um, parallel lines, um, standard rules for those, the um, alternate angles, corresponding angles and co-interior angles. Triangles, specialized quadrilaterals and polygons, so all your special polygon, uh, quadrilaterals such as um, a kite or a trapezium or a rhombus or a parallelogram, you should know the, the, the basics about those. And polygons, how to work out the interior angles of a polygon or the exterior angles of polygons and so on. And the use of the standard circle theorems. Like I said, I'm going to put in uh, some links to videos pretty much all those topics there so you can you can practice them if you get stuck. Let's have a look at a couple of example questions that are aimed at this sort of further mass level. So there's two questions here um, just to give you an idea of what sort of things to expect. Um, have a go at these and then stop the, uh, stop the video have a go at these and then I'll go through them. Okay so look at the first one. So to show that, that uh, Area of circle radius R, so let's draw, draw a circle and the radius is R, so from the center to the, the outside is R, and that's little r, and then we've got a semicircle if I can make that, yeah there we go, semicircle, and on this one the, uh, the radius is big R. Okay, so the area of this circle is pi R squared, and that's little r squared, so that's just a standard formula. And for semicircle, the area is going to be half of pi R squared, because it's just a full circle. And you take the half of that, so half pi R squared, but this time it's big R. Big R and little r, obviously. Um, mean different things in math, so be careful with your the letters you use. So we're going to show that big R equals um, R root 2. So let's uh, write this formula. So these two are the same because two areas are equal. So we've got half of pi big R squared is equal to pi little r squared. We can divide throughout by pi to get rid of the pi. We can times by the 2 to get r squared equals 2 little r squared. Then we need to square root both sides, and that gives us big R squared. Um, we can separate this out into the square root of 2 times the square root of R squared. And the square root of R squared is just R, 
So we've got root 2 times r, and they've, they've put in this format so that the, the r isn't confused with the root 2. So you've got r root 2. There we go. Okay, so we've got a diagram showing a circle. I'm not going to read this. Let's just have a look at this diagram. Um, when you see an angle marked onto a diagram between a tangent and a chord, then you should be straightforward thinking about the alternate segment theorem, which tells you that the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle formed by the chord in the opposite segment. So not in this side, but in this side. So this angle here is the same as that angle there. So if we had to actually show this or prove this, then we would say this angle QTS is equal to 53 because of the alternate segment theorem. Then we're told that QT is 8, so Q to T is 8, and T to S is 10. So we have a triangle, we have two sides and an angle, so we can apply that the uh, area of triangle formula where you have um, the two sides either side of the angle. So the formula is a half A B sine C where A, B are the two sides, so A and B, two sides, other side of an angle C. So this area is going to be a half times 8 times 10 times the sine of 53. Okay, let's bring the calculator in. So we have half of a 8 times 10 a b times the sine of 53 and that gives us 31.9454204 I always recommend just writing out the answer the calculator tells you before you do any rounding it doesn't actually ask you to do any rounding so I wouldn't bother I would just stick with that and it's area so it's centimeters squared but if you did have to round it then standard rounding in sort of GCC A level maths is um, oops, is three significant figures. So we look at the first three digits that are not zero and uh, don't start with zero and then uh, round it to the third one which is 31.9. Okay so there's two examples of some basic geometry um, using area, angles, um, circles, and obviously we can be all sorts of questions on that because we've got the uh, volumes of cones and spheres and pyramids and so on. So lots and lots of questions could be asked on this topic. Um, but those are the basics.